Alright everyone, welcome back to day one of Pixels for Our People, and once again we still have Laxus here with us, and this time he's going to be showing us Power Blade. Uh, but right before I let you go ahead though, we did just get $20 from... <laughs> Mom wishes you good luck, so thank you so much for that donation. Alright. Yeah, thanks for the donation. Get all those donations in. It's for a good cause. And yeah, I'm I'm back here. I'm not getting rid of me so easily. Um, with another NES game. Another one that is not very widely known. Power Blade. Uh, I came out a year earlier than Panic Restaurant, but still, 91 is rather late. Uh, but also a great game. Um, and it has an equally reasonable story as uh, Panic Restaurant. <laughs> so uh, we're playing as, as Nova, uh, who looks a little bit like, uh, well, Arnold Schwarzenegger maybe, maybe. At least that's what some people say. Um, either way, he's the only one that can, that can save the world um, because um, Alien terrorists have taken over the central computer, so we have to um, defeat them and uh, take control back. So it, it, I mean, it all makes sense. And as you should know, in the future, like this place, like I don't know, 150 years in the future, um, Nova fights with um, a boomerang, because I mean, that's what people will do in in the future, clearly. All right, um, let's just get into it in three, two, one, go. All right, so we have six stages here uh, that can, we can choose from. We just go in the order from one to six from the sectors. Um, just works out the best like that. Um, so yeah, we can throw our boomerang in all eight directions, which is really cool and um, it really has some good physics, like it comes back after a while to the point where you threw it from and stuff like that. It's really fun. Um, so, in this game, for example, I picked up a star right there that increased my, my power and this is a grenade. But all these drops are not, um, not random. There's uh, an exact um, drop table. So I try to uh, um, kill the same enemies and the same amount of enemies uh, on every run. Um, so I get the same drops at the same spots. Um, I talk to this contact there. In every stage we first have to talk to a contact. Uh, that was, by the way, my grenade. It just deals damage to everything on the screen. Um, we have to talk to a contact and he gives us the code so we can enter the boss door. Um, and that also sets a checkpoint, which we shouldn't need, <laughs> hopefully. Um, but yeah, we always have to talk to the contact first. Uh, some of these stages casually can be kind of a little bit confusing and people tend to find the boss door, but then they don't have the code yet and stuff like that. Okay, I jump over this bat, um, kill it like that. Uh, so I despawn an extra enemy right there, so I take a bit less damage. It's not a big deal, but uh, in an optimal case I would finish this stage without, uh, with full health and that way um, I would save like an extra second or so. Alright, get ready for the first boss and he's gone. That was fun. Good boss. So there is a glitch in this game. Um, when Right when you enter uh, a boss door, you can use a grenade. And on four of the seven bosses, that just kills them instantly. So half the bosses, I don't even remember how they look like, because I never see them. Alright, stage 2. 
um, relatively straightforward for the most part. Oh, I missed that bubble. You can hit that bubble behind you and it looks, it looks really cool. It saves a few frames from um, you taking one less damage, but it doesn't really matter. It just looks cool. Um, you may have noticed when I uh, land from a big height, I often um, attack during my fall. That is to avoid um, clunking, so kneeling down when you land, uh, similar to what some um, Castlevania games, for example, have, like CV1, CV4 and stuff like that. Um, so you wanna time your attack properly so you don't have any um, time waste before you can move again. And then we get to something that is very scary, um, ladder drops. So throughout the game I will do that a lot. Um, instead of just climbing down a ladder, I will um, let go of the ladder and then try to re-grab it right before the bottom of the screen because uh, climbing down ladders is kind of slow. Falling down is a lot faster. Uh, the problem is if I don't re-grab it uh, in time I just die because if you fall down on the bottom of the screen you're dead. So it is... Um... Oh yeah, second boss. I hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> so it, it is pretty risky um, with all these ladder grabs, but they overall they just save quite a bit of time over the course of the run. Alright, stage 3. Um, it's definitely a little bit harder. Um, the biggest problem of stage 3 is the boss, because that's the first one I actually have to fight. And not only that, but it's also pretty much the only random thing in this whole run. And he always gives me bad RNG. So it's gonna be fun. Because it's gonna be a beehive. And it's a very random boss, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. First we get our contact here. And we go back half the way. And yes, just for the God, we have a lot of knee contact to our contacts. It's it's a perfect game for the God, actually. I have to watch out a little bit with my health, actually. But it should be fine. So because of where this burger behind me dropped, um, I know that I'm one behind on my kill counter, so I kill that one extra. Um, usually we have like a few backups here and there, uh, and from the drops you just can easily see if you are ahead or behind, you can just adjust accordingly. Alright, so the B boss is uh, horrible. And I hate it. Um, so the way it works, there's four beehives that open up and close after a short amount of time. And how long it takes for them to open up again, it is random. So I just stand here and it takes forever. Could have opened up immediately, but it didn't. Also, I want to not die. This is a horrible fight. But yeah, um, it's a very, very random boss and it is literally the only thing that is random in this whole game. Well, not the only thing, but for the most part, <laughs> it's the only thing that matters. Um, bats move randomly. And the final boss has some randomness, but it's usually not too bad. All right, now, now the game actually gets a bit harder because now we have a new tech. 
and I messed it up. Come on. Oh my god. There we go. So you can clip um, onto platforms that you shouldn't clip onto. It is um, pixel perfect. Uh, some of them are a real pain. That one shouldn't be that much of a pain, but oh well. We got it eventually. It's a bit unfortunate because I took extra damage. Um, but yeah, normally you are not supposed to make that jump. You are supposed to um, go up the ladder and around and that takes a lot more time. Now because I took extra damage, I need to take my ration here. That's a full health refill that I grabbed uh, on my way on stage one. Ah, missed the one cycle. And now we have uh, the power suit. So the power suit is actually why the name is called Power Blade. Uh, because the shots we fire with the uh, suit, the power suit, are called power blades. And Nova is the only person in the world that can control these. That's the law. Um, and yeah, this, this suit is really, really strong. Um, you deal more damage with it, your shots go through walls. But you only have um, three hits on it. No, oh, this is bad. Ah, I missed that clip and... Well, I took damage, which is bad. Because you only have three hits on that um, power suit. And I really, really don't want to lose it. Also, these jumps are super precise, and if I jump a bit too early, I just die, so... <laughs> I try to... Oh, let's take it safe. Normally, I would take a D-boost there. Okay. We made it somehow. That was, was a rough stage, and a uh, nice boss, once again. But yeah, I really don't want to lose this suit for the rest of the game. Um, there is a backup suit that I can get in stage 6 if I need to. Um, but yeah, that's the most important part. Once you grab the suit, you really, really want to keep it. And for some reason, when you hit something right in front of you with the with these shots, um, it sometimes deals more damage. I don't really know how that works. It's, it's kind of weird, but... Um, that way I can kill sometimes stuff in one hit instead of two. And I mean, I won't complain about that. Oops. Also, yeah, this game also has phenomenal soundtrack. I really, really like the music in this game. From all stages, basically. Really, really great soundtrack. Alright, we get more clips here. Okay. Um, okay, this is the biggest clip. So, normally you were supposed to go down and all the way around and it's it's a long way. It saves, it saves like a minute to just do this. And also, this is the worst clip ever. Oh, huh, that's not too bad. I'll take that. Um, but yeah, that, that one is a really, really big uh, time save. But it's also the worst clip. It, it feels like RNG, because you really don't have a good visual cue for that one. Um, that was like fourth try. I, I'll take that. That was a decent stage. All right, stage six. Uh, second to last stage. One of my favorite songs.
uh, the the enemy drops are um, the drop table stays through stages so it, it goes through the whole game so you um, uh, if you kill an enemy too many in stage four for example you gotta skip on one in stage five to make up for it for example I really want to pay attention to that another clip here that one is easy for some reason like they are supposed to all be pixel perfect but that one is so much easier can't tell me otherwise <laughs> all right I'm gonna grab this backup suit just because I can and this is the other art clip uh, okay it's not that hard <laughs> that one is apparently um, it's a pixel dependent even but I find it a lot easier than the one in stage 5 I don't know. Do we have time for a donation? Sure, go for it. Alright, awesome, because we got another $20 from Belugie. And he says, let's go Laxus! Nice pace, buddy! Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for the nice pace. <laughs> I appreciate it. Alright, there's... Um... Before I get to the boss, there's two small clips that I could do here. Um, they are only worth it if you get them first try, so that one was already not worth it. And that one wasn't worth it either. But I figured I should just go for it. <laughs> and I got hit for it, which is kind of bad. And we actually fight this boss. It's some kind of Terminator, I don't know. Um, doesn't stand a chance. But, I mean, we got to see another boss, right? And with this we cleared all six stages, so we get to the finally, uh, final Wily stage. And for some reason the evil alien um, guy looks like Lenin or something, I don't know. Uh, it, it all makes sense, I, I promise. So this is the final stage. Um, also amazing song by the way. But this stage does not have a contact. So we can go straight to the boss, uh, which also means that there is no checkpoint in the stage. So if you die at the end, there's one tricky jump right at the end before we get to the boss. Uh, if you would die there, I would have to do the whole stage over. Uh, so let's hope I don't do that. Uh, apart from that, this stage is relatively straightforward. One of the easiest stages, actually. There's no clips in this one. Oh. Uh, that's bad. <laughs> that hit was not what I wanted. Incidentally, it didn't get my diagonal input, but it's okay. Um, I really don't want to lose my suit here, because the final boss without suit is real, real pain and takes forever. I'm skipping this trick here. Conveniently, we have two grenades left to kill these guys. We have one more scary ladder drop in the next room. Well, this room here. So I hope I don't die on this one. Okay, perfect. Just one more scary jump now, um, and then we get to the final boss. Uh, there's, there's Yoku blocks here. Okay, we made it. Uh, it's so easy to slip off that block for some reason and then you just die and have to do the whole stage over again. And here's the final boss. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know what that is supposed to be, but yeah. It's, uh, it's a boss. There's two phases. First phase is really simple. You just go to the side and then you shoot him. Uh, second phase has a bit of RNG with um, the flames that come from the ceiling. If I get bad RNG I might miss the three cycle because I only have one hit left on my suit. But uh, that's no big deal. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Bad RNG, but that's okay. Uh, time is coming up. 
Um, and time. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, basically Mega Man, GG but with once Arnold. Again. Thank you. Um, fun fact. Uh, so, like when you when you look at the uh, the intro picture, it it kind of reminds of Arnold Schwarzenegger in um, um, Terminator, I think, and. Um, Arnie's lawyers actually sent a nice letter to the developer of this game, um, but he could prove that he actually took a photo of him himself for that, <laughs> which is uh, pretty nice. So apparently he, he looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, but yeah, uh, that's uh, that's Powerblade. Uh, another really great game, um, really fun casually as well. Um, I think I, I I don't know how these bosses look like. But I'm sure they are not too bad. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for having me. Um, you are not completely rid of me still. Uh, I will be running games tomorrow and on Sunday. Um, so yeah, I, I will come back. But thanks everyone and um, have fun. Awesome, thank you so much, and uh, I hope people are excited to see more of you and more of the marathon, because we do still have a lot coming up, because we are only on day one. So up next is We're King 34 with Mega Man, but before that we will be taking another intermission, so this is the perfect time for you to get up and stretch, make sure to stay hydrated, and we will be right back. <laughs> 